fucked up, Tommy. Alright, give me a second, guys. Alright. Let's get people in here first. Let's uh, share this out real quick. Let's get... Hey, Kayla, how you doing, buddy? Thank you for coming by. Um, guys, make sure you, um, thank you so much, Kayla. Um, make sure you guys follow Kayla. Um, she does a lot of, uh, Resident Evil streams, and she's actually very talented with her gaming. Um, we also, I'm also going to talk about some serious stuff. And Kayla, I'm sorry you came in at the wrong time for this, but, um, we're going to be talking about... Uh, the do's and don'ts about YouTube and how people are not the same like people with disabilities I don't like the word to say disabilities or disabled the R word any of that stuff Okay, so we call it a superpower because you know what it's a it's a nasty label to give someone if it's not a positive thing It doesn't need to be said you know um, so the thing is you guys People with this, uh, superpowers, we're not, we're not dumb, we're not pathetic, we're not any of that stuff, okay? Um, we just learn stuff differently, and the way we say things makes it so we understand, and it doesn't always make sense to you, but it makes sense to us when we the way we express ourselves it doesn't mean that we're liars or anything like that it just means that we express ourselves differently than normal and there's really no such thing as a normal person there, there's no normal human beings every single person has a fault you know not everyone is the same because if everyone was the same then it then the world would be boring but I am gonna stand up for what is right and there's a lot of people that are taking this platform for granted and what I mean is like the power just to go live and do the things that some people do are not okay like going around doxing is wrong um calling people's family members that are not even on youtube is wrong to to bully is wrong and there's a lot of that going on on youtube there's a lot of decent people that are getting picked on for no apparent reason just because you don't like the person, hey, hi Vi uh, Viper, just because you don't like someone or they're friends with someone else, that doesn't mean that they are supposed to be a target. I'm sorry, I was raised by, if you got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all, okay? And for you, for some people to call people um ment um mentally ill and stuff like that like you know they don't deserve to be on the platform or they don't deserve a paycheck i'm sorry I, the last time i checked i'm allowed to be on this platform and if people want to donate to me they're more than welcome to i do i ask for it no i don't ask for it i don't because you know what i tell everyone all the time if you want to if you want to support me, the best way to do it is just rewatch my streams. Because I don't want to take hard earned people's hard earned money for for me. You know what I mean? I'm humble. I appreciate my friends. And if you're a friend, you wouldn't want your friends you don't ask your friends for money. That's one thing you don't do. You don't ask your friends for money. Because you know what? Money is the root of of all evil okay and money can run friendships I should know I lost a couple friends due to giving people uh, money and Kayla I appreciate you being here like I said you're one like I've been supporting you for a while I love your streams um, 
keep on doing the uh, the scary stuff because you know what? I, I tried them and I'm I get more scared than you do. So they, I mean, if you guys like scary games, go check out Kayla's channel. I recommend it. It's very positive, very fun. She's super chill. And um. With that being said, the other the other thing that needs to stop happening on YouTube is stop accusing people of stuff that they're not doing. Hey, hey Wyoming. Wyoming, make sure you step up to my friend Kayla. She does a lot of scary games and stuff like that. She's super chill. Um, but the problem with YouTube is people think it's okay to say whatever they want and then um when they get called out it's it's a, it's wrong like there's a lot of people on here that are that you think it's okay to say and do these horrible things to anyone not just one but just to anyone and you think that er, Anyone thinks that it's okay to attack people, and it's not. There's decent people that deserve to be on this platform, and there's a lot of people that shouldn't be on this platform. Hello, Wyoming. Uh, Retro, we're talking about superpowers and the do's and don'ts of YouTube. So, if you're a friend, say like me and Retro. Retro is not my friend. Retro is my sister. I I support her as much as she supports me. And the fact that people talk bad about people because of their medical history or the way that they word things, it makes it out to be a lies. You don't know that per person at all. You shouldn't talk bad about someone if you never met them. Because I can tell you, looks are deceiving. Hey, Tinksy, looks are deceiving. And not everyone's going to say the right thing. Okay? We all don't... Go, not all of us are... Are... How can we say... Intelligent. We're smart. People with superpowers are smart. But the way we word things... Might not make sense to people. It doesn't mean that we're lying. Just because some of us don't know how to do screenshots... Or take things... Literal or anything like that, you know, you have to simplify it for us. Doesn't mean that we're, we're uh, the R word. I hate people that say that we we are the R words, and we're not. Okay, we're just different. But you know what? So are you guys. Everyone is different. Like I said earlier, not one person is normal. There's no such thing as a normal person. So what y'all need to do is. Speak on stuff that you guys know. And look at the inside, not the outside. Because you could say we are really bad people. But here's the thing. I don't go and ask people. I don't ask people for money. Most of the time when I get donated, I just sit there and I almost cry. Like, look what, um, like what Smiley and everyone else does, you know? I, I ask people to just rewatch my streams because that's the free way to do it, you know. But people seem to think like they're entitled, that they're they're you're obligated to pay them just because they give you a, a stream. That's not how this works. You should be thankful for your donators. You shouldn't demand money from people because guess what? That makes you in a um. It makes you in a butthead. I don't want to cuss too much, but it makes you a butthead. And the part, like Tinksy Bell. Tinksy Bell comes in here, she and she she shows me love by just liking my stream. It's okay. If you guys if you guys want, just like my streams. I, I don't care if I make a dollar or or a hundred dollars. I don't care because you know what? Money doesn't take away from the friendships friendships are more important than money and there's a lot of people that take advantage of people because of their money situations people like with superpowers um 
and there's a few people that say that I don't deserve any money at all. Like, I, I do it off of sca uh, scams. But here's the problem. People like Retro... And uh, Retro, I'm going to use this... I'm going to use this as an example. Retro has a daughter, okay? And she has superpowers, too. You know, one time Retro did something that I thought ret no one would ever do for me. Retro donated to me. And, you know, I felt... Thank you... I was so thankful for her because you know what she gave me a decent amount of money and she should have used it for her for her daughter to have fun but you know and I never change and retro is always gonna be my friend even if, if, if she do never donates to me again who cares money money is money money is the root of all evil and when you're thirsty for the money and you grind for your money um, it changes you, and there's a lot of people that are on here that demand a lot of money from their from their subscribers, and it's in a negative light. Uh, so here's the do's and don'ts of YouTube: do not talk about it, about people unless you know they're is um literally you're trying to defend yourself against the the narrative. Two, don't disgrace women, because here's the problem. Women are stronger than us guys, and I have to admit that. I just want to get those memberships. There you go. See, y'all, make sure you guys watch Retro's uh, positive streams. Um, so let's get her her memberships, because that's all she wants. And Ginger Smurf off. No, I'm just kidding. Um... But here's the thing, guys. People with special needs, um, just because we're different, it doesn't mean that you guys can attack, uh, attack us at free will. It's very disgusting. It makes you look like a piece of crap. And here's the other thing. Why do it? Don't you understand? Like, if we wanted to, we can actually take, um actions because you're 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 hurting a protected class okay just because we have feelings and we don't we don't follow the the script that everyone else plays we do our own thing and we do what we want to do if we want to support someone we su we su we support someone not everyone's going to get along i get that you don't have to like the same people i do but the problem is, at least be courteous and kind to each other, and that's what happens, you know? Like, I don't like, I don't like everyone in retros. I like a lot of them, but there's a couple I didn't, that I don't like, you know? But I don't I bring it to her, I don't address it in her channel, because it's her channel, and if you're a channel owner, you just want to run your channel and let it be peaceful, Okay? And these ru rumors and doxing is not a th cool thing to do. You, you know, if you're if the person is not on YouTube, they should not be contacted. I don't care who you are. And if you're trying to defend yourself against attacks, you know, of uh, bullies, just be true to who you are. Don't stoop to their low to their lowest. Because here's the thing. Bullying is never going to stop, but the thing what we can do is be mature enough, be like, you know what, they're upset about something, just, you know, play it off, be like, you know what, I ain't mad at you, I know you're upset, you know, I hope you feel better, you know, be sarcastic, but not in the mean way, like, you know, if you, if you say like someone is being an a-hole to you, all you have to do is say, sir, or ma'am, have a nice day. That is the nicest way you could say it, but you're also being kind of a dick. Okay? And it's horrible because you're judging us when you don't even know us. Like, I'm sorry. if you People say that they know me very well for all these years. Obviously, you don't know me well enough because I've always been the same person I have, I've been with since day one. 
I believe in what's right, and there's a lot of wrongs on YouTube, and YouTube is finally cracking down on that. But the one thing I will not have you do is disrespect my friends. If I support them, you don't have to support them. But just because they do something nice for me doesn't mean that you have to like them. Because, like we all said before, you're not going to like every single person. It's impossible. But if you have respect for me and you understand me, you'll, under you'll understand, like, you know, there's good ways to do, th do things and bad ways to do things. And I've learned uh, from quite a few people on what not to do. I would never ask you guys for money. Now, you might clip what I said last night to Tommy. But Tommy understands why I said it because Tommy usually wants to be the first person to be a donator to me. Okay, it doesn't mean it doesn't mean like I'm asking for his money. I even said, you know, I was just kidding. Okay, Do you, have you guys ever heard me ask you guys for money? Never in my life. You got the wrong one, should. Like, I'm sorry, like, when Retro gave me my super chat, I wanted to give it back to her, and she said, no, you d that I deserved it, and you know, my heart, I do put a lot of work in, I do do a lot of things, but I don't expect to get money all the time, and I don't get money all the time. I save what I get and you know what I buy my friends what they what what I owe them because you know they help me with my channel it's called common courtesy it's called showing love to your supporters and Eddie is one of my biggest supporters he helps me with my channel uh, you lost your YouTube premium. Well, you don't need the YouTube premium, Wyoming, because then you could skip all the ads, and I want your ads. <laughs> no, 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 no. No one's allowed to have premium. <laughs> no one's allowed to have premium. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. Totally kidding. Um, but, and here's the other thing. If I... And this whole everyone going like legal stuff, it needs to stop. No, I hate ads. Well, Wyoming, you need to keep the ads. Because it gives me the moolah. No, I'm kidding. And you love your little kitten. Okay. Well, and there you go. Trixie loves her cat. But the thing is, it's like, why? Why do you guys... Why do you guys have to go so low at people? Just because they don't do what you tell them, it's okay for you to um, go to their Facebooks or their um, pay money to get legal information from them and then threaten to go real life. Listen, this real life stuff sucks, okay? Y'all are going to... Let me let me be honest. I have multiple people threatening to call my family, and they've been calling my phone. Oh, it does. Okay. Well, my bad. I didn't know. And here's the other thing. Like, I'm sorry. If you have a kid, uh, a child that has special needs, you wouldn't want someone to go after them, would you? No, because that's 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 not normal, right? But. For certain people that don't have kids, they think it, they think just because we're different and all this stuff that we're 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 free free game. Um, I'm sorry. The last time I checked, you don't you're not a doctor. You're not allowed. You shouldn't have to ask for any kind of proof to show any documents. And listen, guys, future YouTubers, do not. Do, do not, if you're ever getting picked on, don't ever show any legal documents. Don't show your ID. Don't do any of that stuff because they will use it against you. Just whatever you do, please try to stay in, in, uh, hidden 
don't give out any any type of um information because you know what it's bad it's gonna they're gonna use it against you and be careful who you mod and also be careful who you trust I don't know I mean I really don't know but and there's a lot of people that you know like to talk a lot of crap on here and when you don't even talk about them it's okay just don't don't acknowledge them because here's the thing they're gonna look at your channel and they're gonna realize dude this guy's just a gamer or this guy's just doing karaoke they're not doing anything wrong they're gonna look like idiots okay like Wyoming Wyoming does her positive streams she does her big brother streams and you know what there's it's always fun and positive there and, and I'm always gonna be in her streams I'm always gonna hang out with Wyoming now there I know there's a lot of people that don't like Wyoming but guess what I don't give a crap oh and you guys go check out my new stickers I have stickers and I gave you guys badges too so if you look at the badges you guys can see all the uh, the stickers we got um we got Lady Godzilla stickers we exactly exactly if you just keep your nose clean they can't touch you I think you're mean retro well listen let's just say retro can be a little testy at times you know she I'll be like are you freaking kidding me? And then she'll be like, where is that Michelle at? Here, let me, let me do Retro's voice. Michelle? You said you weren't taking your meds. Where the hell are you? Never in my life. You know, that woman, you know, she's probably asleep already. That woman Listen, okay, that's how that's how retro is, okay? She'll be like Johnny, are you flipping kidding me? Oh Johnny, you said Wyoming. Oh whatever. Okay, well whatever. You 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 know what I'm saying. Don't just zip it. Both of you. You're both grounded, okay? You're both grounded. Correct me on my own stream. Who does that? But anyway, if you guys can hit that like and share button. But the worst thing that you could do on YouTube is pick on someone with a special uh, with a special uh, superpower. Because you know what, your words actually hurt a lot, and when you threaten us. It actually does a lot of hurt to us just because we call you out on some stuff it doesn't mean that we're bad people and that we're wrong I'm sorry like if I don't like something that you're doing I'm gonna call you out on it because you know it, if it offends me it offends my friends like I'm sorry you should never call someone the R word it's disrespectful People still say it to this day, and it's disgusting. Like, we're not out here grifting. We're not out here taking advantage of people. We're just here playing video games or doing our thing. Yeah, sorry, Retro. I missed it, too. I didn't even get notified. But I will watch the replay. And then, you know, me, even me and Ginger, we talk outside of YouTube and it's not always about drama it's about what's up Ken it's about oh god get him out of here can someone get rid of that guy please stop using racial slurs in my chat dude oh they're all coming in here we go again oh god here they go again, Retro. Um, okay. I don't know why they keep coming back. I use... I have blocked words. I don't know why... 
I don't understand why he d why people do this. It's annoying. It's disrespectful. Thanks, Wyoming. Like, I'm sorry. Like, people like that make YouTube not fun. Okay? So that's one of the things you don't do. Is come up in people's chats and just be racial. You know? I mean, we're... We all, we're all human beings. We all bleed bl blood or red, you know? And the, the situation with that is, it's like, you just don't know how to, you just don't know how to be an adult. And that's okay. Listen, I'm not mad at you. We love you. I don't know. Maybe you, the reason why you, you're doing this is because you've been picked on. It's okay. You're safe here. Don't have to cry no more. We're here to we're we're here to make you feel better, okay? If because you have no friends, we'll be your friend if that's what you need. Like, right kill them with kindness, you guys. Like, you know, they don't like being people being nice to them, even if they're complete a holes. If you are nice to them, they'll probably, chances are they'll leave you alone. Cause it seems like it's like a poison. Okay, people don't like positive stuff. They like to. Everyone loves the negative stuff. And guess what? Rapper. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh, your first day off is today? Well, sweet. And look, I do get people in my streams. And not once I have I asked you guys for anything except for liking the stream. So, and that's the thing. People take people out of context a lot of the time. I don't, listen, hanging out with my friends, playing video games, showing you guys how good I am, is it, what's fun for me. And y'all seeing my reactions when I do get super chats, it's cool too, but you know, I don't, I don't, I don't go on YouTube to make money. I go on YouTube to have fun with friends. So there you go. Like, people just need to stop thinking about m the money constantly. Because it doesn't make you cool. You know, you're bragging about what you make. Big deal. Like, you know. Oh, you bought. Oh, yeah, that's right. You bought the gaming chair. How does she like it? I. I'm actually thinking about getting me one eventually. I had one back in the day, but it wasn't like comfortable. Not like yours. Yeah, you're, you you said that your back hurts. Those things are not fun to put together, let me tell you. But, I mean, put, put a one in chat if you guys agree with me. Like, all this YouTube drama stuff, it's just repetitive and it just needs to stop like if you don't like someone just don't watch them don't address them but if they keep talking about you it's because they're a fan of you so like i'm i'm gonna use retro as an example okay people don't like retro but they are talking about retro they're talking about her because you're a fan of her you can't keep her name out your mouth same thing goes for like white wyoming you guys are watching every single thing that she does. It's because you're a fan of her or that you have a crush on her. Sorry, Wyoming, but it's, uh, yeah, you definitely have fans. I have fans and I'm not going to mention their names, but there's a certain guy with three letters. Y'all know who I'm talking about is still trying to threaten, threaten me with more videos of me. Dude, I don't watch him. I don't care. Do what you gotta do. It just makes you look more pathetic. Okay? And I hate to say that, but it does. You're a fan of mine, and it's okay. You wanna hang out with the cool kids. I mean, look, we got all the best people in here. We got Wyoming, we got Retro, we got Ginger, we got David. People just need to, like, Grow up. Be adults. Quit being little 
kids. Oh no, I'm getting picked on. Oh, they're making memes of me. Man. But here's the thing. Maybe if you didn't do some of the bad stuff that you did to some people, maybe they would leave you alone. But you constantly talk about people. All, all you bullies out there are just... Yeah, I got Tixie too. You know, I got all, of you, all, all the best people in here. And the fact is, is like, they're not even fa they're not even subscribers. You guys are not subscribers to me. You're not supporters of mine. You guys are family of mine. Retro's family. Tinksy's family. Um, Amber's family. Kermit, there you go. You have, I have a frog in my chat. Look, we got even a freaking frog. I mean, hey, frogs need loving too. Okay, listen, honestly. Fro frog lives matter, you guys. Come on. I mean, shoot. All we need now is a Miss Piggy and we're good to go. I mean, look, we got we got a big Sesame Street family going on around here. And it's crazy on how people get so mad because we have support that people don't like. Who cares? You can like whoever you like. But you know, you should never go after people's subs or downgrade people for how they look or sexuality or any of that stuff. Because you know what? We have, oh, everyone has feelings too. You're not a human being if you pick on someone with special needs. And no, I'm not using it um, for, for sympathy or anything. I'm telling you guys how it is because here's the problem. Y'all think it's okay to just talk all the crap you want about any single person. But yet, you don't know us from Adam to Eve. You know, we're just people online. But when you pick on someone with special needs, that makes you a complete a-hole. I'm sorry. You have no room to talk. Uh, can someone get rid of that one too, please? Like, are you not? Oh, dude, let me ask you a question, Sandstorm. Honestly, are you in here? Are you, are you in here because, you know, you, you need friends? No one has your back? Like, what's the matter? Who hurt you, buddy? Honestly. I mean, I hate to say this, but, you know, are you... Are you raised in the barn? Because here's the thing, dude. Like, this isn't the 40s or the 30s anymore. No one talks like that anymore. You're spreading the hate when when all there is is love and positivity here. That's the problem with YouTube. No one knows how to be nice to each other. Everyone's got to talk some kind of crap about someone. It's time to move on and grow up. Like, if you're a man... Be a man. Fight with your real words, not not racial stuff. Well, no, I'm just saying a general term. Like we're talking about a general situation. Like I'm talking for people that are becoming YouTubers that are new to you, like new gamers that are coming on to YouTube. You know, oh, you was putting your birds to bed. Like in general, like. It doesn't hurt to be kind to people. And all these Karens and people that are just looking for fights because that's their content. It doesn't make you cool, man. It just looks makes you look like a punk. And please go subscribe to... If you're not subscribed to Noodle Mash, please uh, subscribe to Noodle Mash. Um, she's another lady that has superpowers as well. So does Wyoming. Wyoming is a good friend of mine. Support all my people is in here. Look, guys, we got 15 people in the chat. Let's go. You know, people don't understand boundaries. And, you know, people just think it's okay to do whatever the hell they want because it's YouTube. Well, you know, YouTube has rules too. 
and if you don't follow them, you're gonna get yeeted. I'm just saying. Like, it takes a real person to stand up against these people, to any people that are picking on you or bullying you. But, you know what? If you have the good support that and have a family like I do on YouTube, no one could, if they, you don't have to prove a damn thing to anyone. If, if they're really your family and they support you, they know the truth. You do not have to, you know, continue making videos on them or, and stuff like that. They're not going to believe the, the negativity about you, you know? And the, 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 the situations are, is like, a lot of people can make up anything that you want on YouTube. But you know what? The people that stand beside you, like I, someone told me retro said the N word. I'll be like, okay, well, guess what? I know that's bull crap because retro doesn't use that kind of language. You know, you, and I would never have to ask her, hey, did you say this? They would automatically believe you because here's the thing. They're friends. Like, okay, I'm going to tell, like, for, here's another example. Ginger told me a smurf off, but she really meant to say F off. Yeah, that's true. She, But she doesn't use that word, so she, we came up with the word smurf off. So, yeah, I do believe her that she would say that to me. But, you know, we're, we're family. We joke around. We pick on each other. Like, Wyoming. Wyoming is Lady Godzilla to me, okay? And she loves that nickname. It's not a dig at her. And people like to seem to think, oh, I don't like, I don't like Wyoming. I'm going to turn on Wyoming. Absolutely not. Wyoming is family. Family members fight constantly. Uh, and I mean, look at, look at, look at Retro. She, she, she's about to be 50 in December. Oh, here we go again. Dang, they are coming in hard tonight. Good lord. Oh well. Alright, have your nice, uh, have, have a nice trip in the block list. <laughs> Mods are doing a great job. Thank you guys. Love y'all. What? Uh oh, she said John A? What? How dare you? <laughs> oh, I am. <laughs> Yeah, back in 1962, you might have been freaking 21. Listen, Retro is the reason why they, there's a song called All the Old Hags Walk Like This, okay? Her and my friend Michelle, yeah, they're two peas in the pod, okay? They are the brand, they are like the golden girls, okay? You got Ginger as a golden girl. You got freaking Retro as a golden girl. Michelle as a golden girl. Oh, those are fighting words. <laughs> Wyoming, no. You're more like the age of 59. You need to change the numbers around a little bit. But see, this is what we do. We have fun. We roast each other, have fun, because that's what makes YouTube fun. See, the key word today is fun. No any? I'm Sophia. <laughs> yeah, you're sh you're definitely short for Sophia, and you definitely got the gray hair for it. So yes. And then, um, so I just realized uh, retro is Dorothy because she, well, no, she can't be Dorothy. She's um. She's Betty White, because she's old. No, she... No, wait. Sophia, which one's the old one? Which one's the... Which one's the mother? Isn't that Sophia? Yeah, you're Rose. You're Rose. That's it. You're Rose. Because she's like six... Uh, she's like 50 years... Like 100 years old. Yeah. And Retro kind of looks like her, because she's short. So, yeah. She's a teeny... She's definitely Rose, yes. Retro's even balding, you guys. Like, she's got much hair as Rose.
and when I pick on the the on them, it's not to hate on them or anything. It's just it's just for fun. So don't say I I dis um that I'm nasty to women. I love women. Yeah, like you know. Hey, maybe we are all the girls from Facts of Life. Oh Lord. And there goes Ginger. What society needs to change. YouTube needs to change. People's actions need to change because like all this negative Nancy stuff, all this Karen's, all these uh Ken's that are on the YouTube streets, you know, running around just simping for each other. It's disgusting. If you're going to be a real person, then be a real person. And people that like to dox or send out personal information. Oh, guys, make sure you guys follow Kayla. Kayla Boo. She, uh, she does scary games. Uh, she plays a lot of, like, uh, Resident Evil games. Um, she's super cool. I'm promoting her because uh, she... I've been I've been watching her streams. She's super laid back, super chilled. She's kind of like me as, as a gamer. She, her setup is better than mine though, so but you know it's all good. I rather her setup be like people that have better steps than me. I I generally like because they can put a lot of into they put a lot of time into it, and I don't have the uh, the stuff to do it like the laptops. You know, but you know, who cares? I make do with what I have and ah oh shit. And I have, I have fun. That's all that matters. YouTube's here to be, to have fun. It doesn't matter what kind of setups you have or anything like that. As long as you're having fun, that's all that matters. And you're surround yourself with good people. Like, People just need to stop and think about what they're doing with their with their careers on YouTube or you know their dreams. Like this is not a job for me. This is my dream. Okay, I've always wanted to be a YouTuber, and like I'm living my dream. You know, dreams are supposed to be fun and encouraged. A lot of people just like to, you know, make fun of people's dreams, and it's wrong. Like, I'm sorry. If Retro wants to get memberships, damn it, let the woman get memberships. If what, if Wyoming wants to become a monetized channel, which is, I don't think she does, but if she does, you know, let her do it, if that's what she wants to do. And Wyoming's going to bed soon, because she's an old dirty hamster. For me, it's a hobby, and and to pick on me, to tell me a smurf off constantly. Ginger is like the sister that I would sell on eBay for a quarter. I'm just saying. Sorry, Ginger, but you know, facts is facts, okay? Does anyone have a quarter? I would, uh, I would give you Ginger for a quarter. She's probably gonna call me later, and be like, you blowhole. But you know what? It's okay. It is what it is. But, uh... I mean, that was just the re things that I, I had to talk about. Because it's it's to the point that people think we don't have the right to say what how we feel. And you're wrong. Just because we're different doesn't mean that we don't have feelings. And a lot of you guys like to pick on us for... Having our own opinions. And guess what? And the buyer would ask for a 20 cent rebate. Rebate. Yeah, there you go. I'm a tired bitch. Three hours. Okay, well, Wyoming, you could go to sleep now. I was going to stream longer. Uh, let's see. Hey, Noodle. But the thing is, and I want to say this. To all you women out there, I am so sorry. Honestly. The way that some people treat you guys on this app is disgusting. They're not men. They're little boys stuck in a girl man's body. That's how I think of it. 
you guys are beautiful, um, you know, smart, intelligent people, okay? And I know a lot of you guys ain't gonna agree with me, but I have to say this, okay? Because, you know, everyone knows knows me very well. I'm very honest when it comes to who I love and don't like and stuff like that. And here's what I'm gonna say. Noodle Mash is not my friend. She's family. Wyoming's family. All of you guys that's in here right now are family. But the and even ready? Granny's family to me. I know a lot of people don't like her, but that's 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 your guys' issue. That's not my issue, because here's the thing. Granny um, saw the truth about what was happening, not just to me, but to other people. She does care. She has a way with words. I get it. But, you know, we can all agree to disagree. But, you know, like Amber. I love Amber, you know. I love CJ. And I hope I don't piss anybody off. But those, you guys are all my family. If you're associated with me, you're family with me. You know, it doesn't mean that we have to all like each other or anything like that. But at least we can, at least we can all coexist. That's that's being an adult. Um, for some reason, guys, I don't see. Okay, I see Noodle Match now. Well, thank you for showing love. And you guys, I don't ask for super chats or anything like that. If you just want to share the stream out and hit the like button, that's all that matters to me, honestly. Johnny, it doesn't matter who you like or don't like. Exactly. It does. It should not matter. But the problem is everyone thinks that they're entitled to tell people where to go and not to. You're your own, you're your own person. You do what you want to be. This world is freedom. You're free to do whatever you want. Do whatever the hell you want. If if you make and listen, if you make mistakes, just own up to them. If I made lots of mistakes on my YouTube chant on my YouTube career, absolutely, I said and done things that I shouldn't have, and I learned the lesson. And if as long as you admit your mistakes, then you're good. You, you you apologize to the people that you had to apologize to, and you move on. It's called being an adult. And you know what? It's called being responsible, too. So, like, I've done some stuff wrong to Wyoming, and I owned up to them. I've done things to Retro by giving her a bird on her, sh or giving Michelle the bird on her stream that she put on private. You know, I owned up to that. I said, my bad. Okay, that's when Ginger came in and says he didn't read the fine print. Okay, I remember all the rules. Okay, I, like, when you're around your friends, they know when you're being genuine or and stuff like that. They, they're not going to get mad at you over little stuff, you know. And you need to take their words of encouragement. Listen to what they tell you, because if they tell you not to worry about something, you shouldn't worry about it. Because you know what? They're your friends. They don't care what other people think. They only care what's best for you. So, and it took me a long time to learn that, you know? I, I hung out with a few bad people on, on YouTube, and guess what? It's called growing up and learning from your mistakes. Exactly, like, you know, like, I can't control what David says, but I tell him if he's wrong, you know, he, he says he's sorry, you know, like, we're here to help each other be better, not worse. If you're encouraging bad behavior, they're going to keep doing it. It's like, it's like Rugrats, you know, when they do something wrong, you know, they, or no, how can I say it? It's like the movie, the show Recess, you know, they do, they're a bunch of good kids. <coughs> they, a bunch of good kids, but they do bad things. They get punished. It's just like in real life. Grown-ups get punished too. You know? You're not always going to do the right thing or say it. 
say the right thing, but if your intentions are pure, then they people will understand where you're coming from. You it takes a lot to get gender upset. Just call her old. I don't know. Uh, I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna try to get her mad because you don't want to piss off a fiery redhead. Trust me, redheads are the worst to get mad. Like it's like you're you're asking for a nuke to be just dropped on your head. Stay away from angry gingers. Exactly. And Kerm, exactly, different outlooks of life, you know. Like, and it's, I'm not gonna say it's, it's because of the way you were, uh, you were parented or anything like that. It's just, people learn differently, and they don't understand words hurt, you know. So we are, have to be better in teaching people how to do better. Like, we need to teach everyone, because... If they don't know, how are they how how are they gonna know if we don't tell them? You know what I mean? You you just gotta look at all angles, and it's it's sad that you have to teach grown men how to do things. But you know what? It is what it is. Nope. All I have to do is fuss. Okay. Well, I don't want to hear you fuss. So, how about you just uh? Stay, stay calm, and everything's gonna be okay, Ginger. Just don't freak out. Uh, I can't deal with your shenanigans. But, you know, it's... It's people that need to do better. It's not because of, what, um, you know, hate bondings or and stuff like that. If people like someone for who they are, then that's on them. You can't judge them or assume anything because if you assume something that makes you an ass at you and me and I'm pretty sure you don't want to be an ass. But, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much what I had to say about that shit. So, I mean, let's go back to the fun stuff. I'm just tired of people, you know, taking people and labeling them in the negative light when... Clearly, they don't have any leg to stand on. You know. Like, you treat others the way you want to be treated. If you want to be treated like a nice person, then then freaking do nice things for people. Stop being a butthole. You know? I mean, the only person that's allowed to be a butthole is me. And that's picking on Retro and Michelle, because you know what? That's my favorite pastime, okay? They live for this. They don't they don't get to they don't get a say in it. If I pick on them, it's it's for life, okay? They have to just accept it. Cause I ain't gonna change for nobody. If I pick on you, it means that I like you. And Kerm, um you're a crazy little frog too. And if you keep it up, I'm going to have to eat some frog legs. I don't know. I'm just having fun right now. Yeah, it, it took me 20 years to teach my man how to do laundry. That's patience. Okay, you know what? That's not nice, Ginger. You, you better be nice to that guy. It took me 10 years to train him, put him in- Hey! Watch it! I can't have you talk about your man that way. I'm sorry. Oh no, you didn't just say that. Yes, I did. What you gonna do about it? I'm gonna eat some frog legs. So yeah, I can pick on Kermit too, because Kermit's my- Kermit's my buddy. Ginger, listen. You should be lucky to have a man, because... I, I, I don't know. I feel like he... I feel like he, that you pick on him way too much, and... And he has to just sit there. I'm gonna eat some bracket. Hey! Rude! 
Well, you ain't got. Listen, I ain't got much legs, uh, Kermit. So you're kind of missing out because my legs are like toothpicks. There's no meat on them, so you're shit out of luck on that. See, I can make fun of my legs, cause you know, it's it's okay if I make fun of myself because you know what? It makes it fun, and everyone knows the situation with my legs. So personally, it doesn't bother me. It's whenever other people that don't know the situation and they like to pick on my on my disability. I don't use it as a clutch. I, if I pick on myself, then there's a difference. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Like, grow up, people. I mean, if you can't have fun making fun of yourself. Oh, shit. I think I just screwed myself. Oh fuck, I'm out of here. I screwed up big time. Yep, it's destroyed. I can't even concentrate today. I should probably play the different game. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. But, I mean, look at, look at Kermit here. It's not a disability, it's ability. Exactly. I mean, I'm able to do things that normal people probably couldn't do. Like, I could put both legs over my head and roll around like a ball. I could be a human bowling ball if I wanted to be. I could, uh, what else could I do? I can walk with these legs and I mean I walk funny yeah but you know what at least I can walk you know like who cares what do you mean TMI dude that's a that's a freaking talent man I can roll around like a ball dude I mean can you imagine just, listen can you imagine me just wrong being at your house hanging out and then I just put both legs over my head and start rolling around like a ball and just keep singing keep rolling 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 I mean come on that would be funny as shit you'll be like uh are you okay yeah I'm just rolling around like a ball I mean who cares I mean there's a lot of cool stuff I could do with my legs you know Like, they say that I was never going to walk, and guess what? I'm walking, I'm running, I'm doing all kinds of fun stuff. They can't stop me. The only person that can stop you is yourself. And if you stop yourself, you're not living to your full potential. You know, I don't want to be told what I can and can't do. Let me figure it out. If I can't do something, I'm going to be like, yeah, I can't do it. But at least I tried, you know? P that's the problem. Everything is handed to people. They say they can't do something, but they don't try nowadays. And that's what gets me, because you have to try. Honestly, like, if you don't try, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be the best version of yourself. Like, Retro wants to try to get monetized, uh, memberships. Well, she, all she has to do is get that watch time, you know what I mean? Like if she want, if someone wants something bad enough, they'll fight for it. If there's no fight, then it's not gonna be handed to you. And you know what? I might have some roasted frogs here in a little while, cause Kermit's looking kind of uh, froggy over there. I might have to eat some f more food, even though I just ate. But you know. People just need to chill out and relax and have fun. Stop getting worked up over little he said, she said stuff. It's very annoying and no one wants to listen to it. And you women are are something special. Let me tell you something. Like, people just don't know how lucky it is. If you have a girlfriend or, you know, it's... You know, in order to keep them okay, chat, bedtime, good night for this frog.
Okay. Well, good. Tell Miss Piggy not to squish you, okay? Cause I know she's a she's a big one. LOL. But thanks for hanging out, Kerm. And I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. Like this stuff is just gets ridiculous. Sure thing. Cool. But you know, I just I just think people just need to stop and think about what they're gonna say before they, uh, I, you know, before they do it. Because if it looks bad, you don't you don't want to look look like a jerk. But people don't see things the way I see them. It's kind of sad. Because if you want a negative outlook, keep doing what you're doing. You know, I don't have time for that stuff. I'd rather spend my time with fun and positive places and going down, going down what? Going down what? Rabbit holes. See, that's the thing. What the hell are these rabbit holes that people are keep talking about? Someone's got to explain this shit to me. Okay, this is like very weird to me. Like, I understand a rabbit hole, but. There's nothing in the rabbit hole usually except maybe carrots or something. Or am I missing the big picture here? I don't freaking know. Y'all are just... The, the, that whole freaking rabbit hole thing is insane to me. I don't understand it. Like, why would you want to go down a rabbit hole? There's nothing fun in the rabbit hole. Like, it could be snakes. It could be freaking bugs. Like... I don't know. They don't even. You can't even fit. You can't even fit in a rabbit hole. Rabbit holes are deep dives in two cases. Oh. Oh, true crime stuff. Gotcha. Yeah. Listen, I'm starting to. I'm starting to watch some true crime channels, and there's a couple of true crime cases that I'm actually interested in um and I kinda maybe not only be a gamer but um, you'll see me in other people's chats that are doing like true crimes now cause I think they're actually fascinating in the way that they think on stuff so I mean I'm you might see your boy might be venturing out you know to I'm like, everyone knows I'm in many communities, you know? I'm in my gaming community. We have, you know... I'm looking into the true kind communities. It's... It's cool to go wherever you want to go and to have the freedom. So, um... You guys might see me in Grannies. You guys might see me in, um... Uh, of course, you guys will see me in, in uh, Noodle Matches. You'll see me in... And, um... Um, retros. I'll go wherever the hell I want to go because there's a lot of people that are cool. Refers this to Alice in Wonderland going down a rabbit hole in, in new reality. Okay. Okay. Well. It's just a weird saying. I, I, I really didn't understand it, but I get it now. And look, there's there's uh there's uh Michelle right there. She's eating me. Y'all see this? Michelle's chasing me. Michelle, go away. Stop it, Michelle. Michelle, you're grounded. Stop eating me. You see how Michelle wants to treat me? See, look at that. Now, now she's French. I got you, Johnny. Oh, thank you. See, at least Ginger is nice enough to explain the rabbit holes to me. I would say something else, but, you know, I'm trying to keep this clean. But I could be a... 
Listen, I'm a guy, okay? I'm allowed to say dirty jokes if I want to, but I'm not I'm not doing it. Cause, you know, there's a p time and place for everything. And you just gotta You just gotta have fun with everything that you do. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to end stream because I just wanted to come on here and explain to people like you know, my thoughts on a lot of YouTube stuff that is going around the YouTube streets. Um, I want to thank you guys. Don't start rumors, Johnny. It wasn't a rumor. I was just going to say is, listen, the only hole I like to go into is my girlfriend's. That's all I was gonna say. It was a, it was, it was a little dirty joke. My bad. Okay. Jesus. Starting rumors. I ain't good at certain rumors because here's the other thing. I don't even like rumors because sometimes the rumors can lead to lives. People are watching and start and starting them. Yes, I know. And that's the thing that I don't like, because if you start a rumor it's, and people believe it, you know it's a lie. So why even make up rumors, you know? There you go, buddy. Exactly. See, there, like, listen, you know what? I, I will even sing, you know, Peaches again. Y'all want to hear me sing Peaches again? I'll sing Peaches again, okay? I mean, that may... Um, auntie like side eyed me a little bit, but that shit was funny as hell. If you don't know the song Peaches and what it's about, it's about you know a woman, okay. And if you're a man, you know. Listen, if if you got a woman, man, I'm sorry, you gotta you gotta eat that shit up, man. I'll I'll, I'll eat I'll eat my I'll, I'll listen. I'll eat my girlfriend like she, she was like a hot fudge Sunday. Okay, that's probably way too much information, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. She's probably got a message. I'm surprised she's not in here right now, thank God. I'll probably get a message tomorrow. She'll be like, I heard what you said. And I'm like, well, shit. Am I wrong? I mean, it is what it is. I mean... You gotta have a little dessert every once in a while. If she makes you food, you gotta eat. Yep, Ginger was like, yep, I'm out. Fuck this. <laughs> but no, I'll, I'm, exactly, I don't believe rumors. I only believe what I personally witness. Exactly. Yes. I could say, hey, Ginger, guess what I saw today? I saw a blue freaking alien and it said your name. You know, that's that's a stupid rumor, but it's just it's it's, a, it's an example, okay? Like you guys need to understand there's a, rumors are are sometimes are if you're trying to be funny, then yes. They're okay. Like oh, uh, the rumor has it that retro is going to be 50 years old, you know, in December. It's a rumor, but it's also true. So, you know, you're not fully making anything up. Sorry, sorry, Retro, I keep calling you out by your age, but it's true, you know? I'm using it as, it's for example purposes only, okay? But, you know, it, like, if it's supposed to be fun with, with, uh, with your friends, like, hey, David, haha, uh, you, uh, you, you know, um, what would be a good rumor? Oh, I heard you, you picked your nose yesterday, I, uh, you picked your nose yesterday and you ate it. You know, that's just a, that's just a rumor to pick on with your friends, you know? But there are some rumors that could be really hurtful, like, for example, oh, I heard a rumor that... <coughs> You you hooked up with another you hook you you have a girlfriend but you hooked up with another chick. That's a, a rumor, but it's also a, a lie. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, you gotta be careful how you do rumors, cause you don't want to be an a hole and ruin someone's relationship when it's not true. You know? 
it's just the little things you have to be careful for because you know they're not gonna know that it's, it's bullshit you know people people take what you say on YouTube and they'll run with it. That's the problem. Like, no one knows how to have fun anymore. Everyone has to be too serious. Everything is serious. Like, me and Ginger, we pick on each other constantly. I pick on Wyoming. I pick on Retro. I pick on everybody. Because you know why? That's me. That's who I always been. And Ginger knows this. Like, there's not one panel that I go on where I don't pick on someone. The rumors people make up out here are to harm others and hateful. Yes, exactly. 100%. And instead of, uh, you know, what other people say, but that is, uh, the truth so sets you free. You know, because I ain't trying to do no truth bazingas, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Yes, we joke around. Exactly. Like, I call Eddie an old fart, because, you know what, he is an old fart, he's older than me, and he's a, he's a fart head. Like, you know, I'll, I'll pick on my friends. Ginger, she's, a uh, she's an overgrown toenail, you know? Like, I'll, I'll pick on my people, on If I like you, I pick on you. If I don't like you, you got a problem. And if people make videos on you, the best idea, and I'm going to tell you what Ginger told me, is if you don't pay, if you don't watch them, you're not going to know about them. So don't, don't give them the time or day. Because I'd rather hang out with the people that, you know, that like to hang out with me for, because I'm awesome. You know, not because uh, I give them money or I any of that shit, you know? We we generally like each other and we hang out. Even though Ginger calls me a kid and it's nothing against her because you know what? Eddie Eddie is a badass Viking. Yeah, exactly. You know, and I will tell you this, like when Wyoming uh or Ginger calls me a kid, I don't take it to heart like like, oh, I'm a little kid. No. She says a kid is because I'm younger than her. So, it's a sign of, like, you know, a, a dearment. You know, she's calling you... She, when she calls you a kid, it just means that, you know, you're younger than her. And, you know, she's trying to teach you. That's why I don't correct her when she calls me a kid. Because I get where she's coming from. And I'm not calling people out or anything like that. I'm just telling you guys how I feel about all these situations because, you know, everyone else is entitled to have an opinion. Why can't I tell people how I feel about certain situations? And there's a rumor about me going around that I'm... Oh, is there really? Well, oh yeah. Well, yeah, listen, Ginger, if I'm going to say this, okay? And you know I don't mean no re disrespect, but if you was a if you was one, you would be definitely hitting on me at one point in time, but which is this bullshit because you're not one, so that's why you don't hit on me. See? There's it's it's weird on how people say stuff and think that it's true. It's just weird, because, I'm sorry, if you're going to call someone the W word, um, you, I find it hilarious, I've been with my, th see, there you go. See, there you go, and she's been with her man for 32 years, so that doesn't make her anything. People just need to stop with the labeling on bullshit. It's pointless. It's dumb. It's just not worth it.
But with that being said, I think I'm just gonna hop off. No, I'm gonna leave this up. It doesn't bother me at all. Well, there you go. No, I'm gonna leave this up, David, because there's nothing wrong with this stream except for the negative comments, which is. It's not me saying them, you know, so I ignored them and then. Yeah, I blocked them, so. I, I think this is a good lesson for people to learn, you know? Like, if Ginger thinks I need to delete this, let me know. But I think I, I think it was a positive stream. Y'all understand where I'm coming from, and y'all get to know me for me, even though most of you guys know me for a very long time. I mean, it's just... Some people just need to grow up. That's all it is. Like, if you grow up, you know... Maybe you'll be more likable. But with that being said, is uh, take care. I love you guys. I might do a stream. I'm gonna do a stream tomorrow. And uh, just to let you guys know that there was a com um what was it a um a community post that I posted up about the alien uh about Godzilla and King Kong. Um. We deleted the bad things already, so it won't show up in chat replay. Okay, so but it would it show up on my on my on the top part though when I end my stream because I don't know if it shows up at the top because it's different than it is on the uh, what's it call it? I'll look back at it and if I if I see it, I'll uh, I'll delete it or I'll put it on private. But other than that, um, like I was saying, the Godzilla thing that I was telling you guys about. It's just the camos. It's not the actual fight where you get to see Godzilla. See? It's just the gun. So, technically, we got screwed out of a good content. So, I apologize for that. Um, okay. So, Ginger says, nope. So, I'll leave it up. Ginger, I love you. If you can, give me a call tomorrow. And, by the way, you guys, at 5 o'clock at p.m., I will not be live, okay? I will go live after WrestleMania because the WrestleMania night one is tomorrow and it's going to be The Rock versus Seth, uh, Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes, but his tag team partner is going to be uh, The Rock and Roman Reigns. So they're going to be tag team and it gets them to. I will come up. I will. It won't show up at all because we deleted it. Okay. Um, we are gonna go live after five, uh, after WrestleMania. I will make a community post to let you guys know, and we'll talk about it, alright? Love you guys. Thank you, Ginger. Thank you, everyone that showed up. Uh, please hit that like button, share me out if you can, and, uh, have a good, have yourself a good night.